Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, we're doing another Gonzo Rivera Let's Play. We finally, I think, have what it takes to do the Suez Canal quest. So, you're going to go to your major capital city for your uh, nation. You're going to talk to your fellow that you need to talk to. I'm going to invest while I'm here. And then you're going to go to Imperial Contracts and you're going to take... The Imperial Contract... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Make sure you have Suez and Cairo discovered. That I just spent a whole two days doing that. You have to have them discovered. You will need disguises to get into both of them. Go get yourself a good disguise from Tunis. Go visit both of them. Discover them. Okay. Now, get that long story done. Then you have to come here... <coughs> excuse me. And take the quest. Organized... Chaos. Where art thou? There you are. You need to get 15 bells of withdrawal and have them delivered to the large boulder southeast of Cairo. So we're going to go accept that quest. Then we're going to go get some bells of withdrawal. Now I think I have some on me. No, I have carry on bells. I need bells of withdrawal. So, in order to go get them, we can either buy them or make them. Whichever you prefer. Um, can be bought from a female NPC named the merchant next to the port guide square in Seville or London. So there you go. That's where the best place to go. So either, if you're in Seville or London, that's where you're going to go. Otherwise, you're going to have to find them some other way. But otherwise, a female NPC named merchant next to the port guide square. So here's the port square. And she's going to be named Merchant. There she is. A little bit of delay. Bye. And you're going to get some carry, uh, some bells of withdrawal. They said 15, so I'm just going to get 16. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing this. Not a big deal, but I'm going to get them. I'm also going to stock up on some ceasefire agreements. Because they work from time to time. All right. Now that that's done, I'm just going to get some money. So I have some money on me from the bank. And then we are going to go to Cairo. The Cairo outskirts. So I'm pretty sure that is in Cairo. I could be wrong. Uh, withdrawal. I'll take 600000 with me. And in the meantime... Regardless of whether or not I know for sure it's Cairo or Cairo outskirts or something else, but I'm assuming it's Cairo itself. We're going to get on the boat and we are going to do a set sail. Wait, 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 wait. Stuck up. I like to make the numbers match, even though they don't have to. And we're going to go to Cairo. Cairo outskirts. I don't see them around here, so I think we're okay. Cairo. Yeah, there's no such thing as Cairo outskirts that I could discover here. So, anyways. And that's our first leg of the trip. Getting there. Alright, so a quick update of where I'm going to be going with this channel and this YouTube uh, video content. I've been starting to get real busy at work. Here's my first like half an hour I've had a chance to play and record. I had to do playing just to get the places discovered on the map that I could. I went and discovered Cairo and all of these spots with all of the uh, the all required disguises so I went and did all of that while I could. Um, and then I'll have to do all this next. There's a lot of lots of ports to pick up. So that's what I spent the last few days doing. So where I'm going to go from here is I have one more port permit to get after this. And then I think I'm going to take a hiatus for making content regarding this game. Unless I come across something in which that I feel that needs to be recorded most of the content now gets you once you get these quests done you are set and ready to go for the majority of 
the quests and details of this game. Once you unlock the whole world, I feel like you've just completely given yourself a bunch of options. A bunch of places where you can go, a bunch of uh, opportunities you can do, money to be made, boats to get. You know, there's a lot here. So you don't need to... Um, I don't know if I need to do much more after these quest lines, uh, after these uh, Imperial quests. I mean, I could show you how to unlock the next stage of school. You know, getting to the next stage of school. Um, you know, there's a lot here to do. This is just the basic school. Once we go through 100% of the event and we get more submissions here and all that, then we unlock the next school and, and so on and so forth. It, it's just, I could show you that, but that's just a long time. So let me just explain it for a bit. And then I think that might be it unless if I come to the point where I reach these progression points. You're gonna every time you go submit something, you get a number here in the submissions column, and I think after ever so many um, submissions, you are I suppose to go back to get more of these majors, um, as well as also potentially unlock the next research building. And so, obviously, with each research building comes more techs, more majors you can get, and more boosts you can get. A lot of people's focus early on in this stage of the game is to get the ship speed skill. You know, that's kind of the whole point for some people. I mean, getting all of them are definitely helpful in speeding up your boat or your ship. Um, so, like right now, I'm using a ship speed up one, and people, there's a ship speed up two and a ship speed up three. And every time that you go and you hand in a major, you get one of those submission tabs. And then you get more and more uh, credits so that you can add more skills and more and more slots to keep on adding more skills here um, and unlocking more skills. So it's kind of like one of those its one of those ongoing things that you're going to be doing the tasks, whatever it takes, to do the skill boost that you want. You won't do them all, at least I don't think you should. You just do the ones in which that you think apply to you the most until you've completed pretty much all of college. I don't know much more about it than myself because I've actually never completed it before. Even with my main, I have not. So I can't help entirely in that regard. So hopefully one day I do finish it and I can then fully explain it, but right now that's the extent of my knowledge. So the next thing I can probably spend some time discussing. Let's see. Um, well, nothing else in skills. What about an aid information? I probably have already mentioned it a bunch of times, but once your aid trust reaches 50, then you can assign them a ship and you get expanded cargo. And so long as your levels can accept the ship, then they can, you know, tow behind you with the ship. That's nice and bonus. Changing your aid duties so that you can get the skills. I had her as a paymaster for a while, but she wasn't giving me any skills, so now I'm going to make her storekeeper. I got plus one textile training and plus one die training. I don't really get much of this, but I do get textiles. So we'll see what the other ones are as she hits those levels. She's not level three or level five in um, battle yet. I don't think she's level 20 in, train, in trade either. So it's one of those things that as they level up, you'll get more and more exposure of their uh, traits as well as also their skills. Um, what else can I discuss? I know nothing about pets. I know they have pet skills. I know they're somewhat beneficial if you feed them uh, the appropriate foods, uh, which I don't know this pet's food immediately offhand, but if you feed them appropriate foods and they get more and more intimacy and boost in their ranks and such, and then you get more of these pet skills. Which are pretty passive skills. I don't know how important they truly are. None of them's like ship speed or anything of that nature, as far as I was told. Um, what else could I tell you? I don't know anything about Book of Wisdoms. I can't tell you that. There's so much in this game to know, and you don't even need to touch half of it in order to have fun. I don't know anything about debating. 
I might get some of these soon. Just start holding on to them. Good things to have. I've already explained how you get these. Maybe this will be one of those things that I focus on doing. Just getting through this mission list. There's so much here. Lose everything that I've done. You know, hire two aides, reach court rank six knight, participate in epic sea feud, participate in the part in a debate, and you get these things. Dungeons are another thing you can go through. Something I may be able to show more of, but I don't know too much about them. Equipment. Nothing really I could show here. Nope. Discoveries, you know, you could spend some time doing different discoveries if you wanted to. Geography is my favorite one to do. Port settlements, obviously, the easiest. And then, you know, you could work your way down and start getting as many of these as you like and, you know, keep on boosting your discovery skill set. Um, charting might be one of the more important ones to do. I've only ever charted the one spot that I showed you on video, but look at all the spots you could chart. And every time you do one, you get more and more adventure experience. So a lot of adventure skill stuff here. Lots of it. What else? What is review lecture? I have no idea. Memorial, Al Memorial albums are good too. You go over to see Mercator. And you'll get rewards for having completed these different Memorial albums as you catch different fish and uh, buy more goods. Translation notes. Getting all the different spices, Indian specialties, Caribbean specialties, you know, all something you could focus on doing. Hmm. Not much here to show. There's a recent session from Venice. Oh, target city is Pernambuco. Holy mackerel. Where is Pernambuco? Portobello. There we go. That's a pretty decent race. From Venice all the way to Pernambuco. It's a big race, but participating in races, guys, very, very good things to do. Check world information and you'll see where your events are actually happening. There's a historical event happening, there's an epic sea view, there's a new trend. South China is a trend in, in Seville, and North Africa is a trend in um, uh, Portugal. There's a race in session from Venice to Pernambuco, and it ends... Oh, wait, it already ended. See, they don't they don't tell you. So, oh, the race is in session. Nope, no it isn't. It said 3-4 to 3-10. It is past that. Seafood soon. That's very close. On the 19th, the 22nd, is it ESF? Something you can participate in. Nothing I know anything about. Something you can participate with. Ah, here's some things that you can do. Alright, so. Mail, you can send mail. You can set your status. Bazaaring. In case you get a bunch of stuff that you want to sell. Like, I don't know, maybe you make, um... Uh, I don't know. Maybe you make hammocks. I can, I can make hammocks. Now, not that hammocks sell a lot of, for a lot of money, because they don't, because you can get them in mostly any place. But you could set them to sell for 36 of them for a million dollars each. And then if I sold them, if I wanted to sell them, then I could put a title. I could say, oh, hammocks for sale. And then exhibit them and sit there. And as long as I'm logged into the game and sit there, people may buy them. Um, depending on what it is that you make, that's one way you could sell. You could do it with a bazaar. And then aid bazaars you could only do, I think, when you have an aid that is a certain level and is available. Something along those lines. Uh, I can't show you with this character because I don't have a second aid. But those are good because then they could sit and they sell even though you're not logged into the game. Which is good. And bounties if you have a bounty. I think that's everything, guys.
there's nothing else I could really show you at this point other than this questing line. I'm trying to think. Let's take a moment. Besides the next um, quest line for unlocking East Asia. Mm -mm. Scurvy outbreak. One of my foods. Should do it. Nope, none of them do. I don't have anything that'll work. Well, looks like everyone's just gonna have scurvy until we get there. teach you. Oh, if you guys want to buy, spend your money on the game, by all means, go to the treasure chest and gamble. Papaya likes to have this method in which that you come to this uh, page and you oh, must be signed in. Oh gosh, there we go. I am not a robot. There we go. So you can participate in gambling of buying keys and picking a chest and hoping you get one of these many things and you'll probably look at something dumb like a jib or something. Here's what they try to entice you with. A modified Potosi, superior iron sides, a refitted satisfac satisfaction, redesigned Atlantica, a dragon ship, and then you get these other potential things. You can get a fish you can hang on the side of your boat. Or a stay sail that's got plus 34, plus 37. Don't get me wrong, that's very good. A Gatling gun. Deluxe steel plating. Noble metal plating, which is Sophia's Awakening. Augmented expanded ship hold on my distern deck. Improved sky sails. Um, you know, and the list goes on. You can get all this great stuff. And you can also get really crummy things like... I don't know. A broom. I don't know if the broom's good or bad. But, you know, the, the stuff that... You don't necessarily get, and then you get the legend chest, captain's tickets. That's, you know, very possible. And let's just take a look. Buying a key costs 220 UWC. I have 20 in here. I don't know why I even have any money in here. I don't think I've ever spent money in the game. Somebody gifted it to me. And if I want to buy keys, there you go. You could spend some money on it. To buy this much is $5. And don't get me wrong. If you want to spend some money, spend some money. Not my thing. How does scurvy reduce the durability of mittens? It's a disease. It doesn't affect clothing. My mittens are getting eroded from scurvy. Oh no. And it's actually a good thing too. I mean, I like the mittens because they give me plus one uh, sail handling, which makes me sail faster. I should have docked at Benghazi. Oh well. Oh, and I'm losing sailors. They're all dying of scurvy. That's what it is. How much further do we have to go? We're only like right here. I didn't get all these areas or these areas yet. So I think I might just go rush and do at some point. Check this guy out. Look at that ship. Ooh, I like this one. What is that one? A high clipper. Modified, so I believe that means that they paid money for it. It's grade three. It's a good ship. Look at that cargo. Look at those vertical sails and horizontal sails. Very nice.
Sorry to make you guys wait for this long sale. This is one of the things about making videos for this game and why I don't want to do too much more of it because a lot of it's just sailing. And I don't have time to edit all of this stuff out just to show you guys how to do something really basic. I probably should have just told you to, at this point, just get to pick up the quest, make some bells or get some bells, and then just go to Cairo and show you where it is in Cairo. But, that is that. I guess if, like I said, if I'm going to make more videos, I might do one more quest for the East Asia permits, and that'll be it. That's probably all I'll do. And then I'll probably just, you know, post videos as I come up with doing things in which that makes sense for the game. But otherwise, I might go to videos of different content. Um, I have other games I've been playing. Don't know that I could stream them, or, or not stream them, but record them with any ease or with more fun involved. Like maybe I'll play Counter-Strike or Cities Skylines or Seven Days to Die or Magic the Gathering or who knows. Could go all day. The list goes on. We're almost there. One more city to pass. I am losing sailors. Well, seven sailors on this trip. No friends are online today. Oh, Konami's on. Kaname. I forget who that is, but they were very nice. And my company. How many people are on my company today? Decent about. I only know Gustav. I don't know anybody else. We're almost there. It's a very grindy game. At this point, you already know. I literally made my next goal after getting after all of getting all of these different port permits was just literally to make money and get into bigger, bigger, better ships. And stack out and make money. Stack out my skills and make a lot of money. Research is, is complete. So let's go ahead and enter. We're going to go top off on a few things because we are clearly low on vigor and sailors and all this other stuff. So don't know that we need sailors right now, but... Yeah. There we go, anyways. Okay. We have our sailors now. Then go to the gatekeeper. Now, once we get here, go to the Cairo outskirts and deliver to the Reds, to the, um, it's going to be the flag in the middle, so we're going to have to find out where that is, but I don't know what exactly it is. A boulder, a bunch of rocks, something like that. Like that. We got some other people doing this right now. So I'm going to here. It's probably following these folks. I guess another quest I may, or thing I'm able to show is how to unlock St. Petersburg. Look at that, I'm not following the wrong person. Apparently I run fast. 
faster than these other people. Oh, that was probably an equal speed for these people. I think I see our boulder. They probably not going to the same location that we are. We are not ready to face these guys. Alright, so we found the rock. And then, like all the other quests where this was the case, you just click the rock. Done. No other quest here. And if you're smart, you brought a landmark ribbon. And you finished the quest. Now go back to Seville or London or whatever place you came from and GTFO. That's it. And then you've unlocked the quests line. Or you unlock the, uh, the Suez Canal. So now you can go to get Pepper or get to the East Asia area a lot faster. And by a lot faster, I mean a lot faster. And we're going to set ourselves up to go sailing back to Seville. And we're done. So hopefully now everybody's got that figured out and we they are all well on their way to the next one so uh, as a preemptive thing for the next one the East Asian one they have to have all the pre previous quests already done all the previous permits already unlocked and then you need to go to Manila and Manila is one of not one of these none of these are Manila one of these somewhere right here I forget which one um, I don't know exactly where it is, but it's out here somewhere. Manila, Philippines. Ch -ch -ch -ch. One over these. I don't know. Find a map. Find it. Get there. Unlock the port. Go to the nation's console in there, and you're gonna do uh something else. You're gonna get uh either get one or two potential quests. So it's up to you. I'm not gonna show you both. I'm only gonna show you one. There's a collection of information from the Spice Islands, talking to people around Southeast Asia, or delivering tributes to Brunei. Which, you know, getting tributes are not cheap. I mean, buy or make them, you know. So, I always like to do the, the talking quest. It means you gotta talk to a few people, go to a couple places, and uh, then go back to your major city and end the quest. That's it. So... I'll show that quest line at least as far as doing the talking part and then uh, then I'm gonna go turn in the quest to Manila and then after that is gonna be the whole quest I mean I'm not gonna sail all the way back to Seville for you guys to see that so that'll be the next video when I finally get my butt over to the Southeast Asia uh, at some point hopefully this video was helpful and informative and you guys enjoy my videos if you still do please like and subscribe as always may leave comments below suggesting what I should potentially do next what I might need to show next um, in this game particularly if you like this game a lot um, maybe you want to see some combat or battles or some trade routes that I do or maybe you want to see a totally different game and maybe leave some comments there too and then I'll maybe go that route but hopefully this was video was great and you guys like the series thanks again for all your support really do appreciate it guys have a good one